The master clock helps students understand how to read analog and digital clocks. Lots of digital clocks, but it's a little bit difficult for because there aren't any digital clocks around, or very few. So this clock is set up as one clock. Um, but for time factor, I've had it set up so we don't have to take these hands off and put them back on again. All three hands are geared and removable. So I have taken this blue pin and I removed that hand the other two hands and I put back this green hand, put the pin back in here and we're going to tell kids that on an analog clock there's a circle and that circle represents a very long period of time called an hour. Okay, maybe the dentist would be an hour or grocery shopping would be an hour. Then we go to a half an hour, we could say that one TV show would be a half an hour. Two TV shows would be a whole hour. Or then we go to a quarter of an hour, which could be maybe their snack or a break or something, would be a quarter of an hour. So we've broken that hour up into its fractional increments, and then we tell them on a clock face there are 12 hours. With that, we position our hour hand on here, which is this, um, the way I have it set up right here. Now we can actually begin to read a clock, read, uh, tell time to the nearest hour. We know the green hand points up and the red hand's pointing to the four. So we have the digital part of the clock right here and the students have to turn this, these dials and match the digital with the analog time. So you know they can actually read the, the analog clock because they have to match that. So now it's four o'clock. And we're going to do some elapsed time. We're going to say it's 4 o'clock, but in two hours we're going to dinner. So how long, when would we go to dinner? So we're going to go one hour, two hours. So they can see at 6 o'clock we're going to dinner. Or we could do just the opposite. We could say at 9 o'clock we're going to grandma's house. So what, how, many, how many hours do we have to wait? So we're going to say one, two, three hours we're going to grandma's. So that's our lapse time. Then we tell the students that they're in an hour there are 60 minutes. With that we put our minute overlay on. Again they're all labeled, they're color coordinated and labeled so the minute in hand, minutes are green and then the digital the minutes are green also. So let's say we're going to um, set the time at 9, 10. So they have to set their the hour hand and the minute hand to be 9, 10. Then we tell students that in a minute there are 60 seconds. So we put the second, over, second hand overlay on. We have the second hand on. The second hand is not geared. It is not geared. Just the minute and the hour hand are geared. But you can see how the three work. There is an accompanying workbook to go with the master clock. And we take students all the way for recognition of time through maybe fifth grade um, reading a, a schedule, such as a bus schedule and so forth. Okay? The workbook is similar to the master ruler workbook. Um, it takes kids all the way from the beginning through the fifth grade concept, telling time.